Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen, my opulence, if you came over from Instagram. So today we're going to be doing my March favorites. Ah! So it's kind of like my spring favorites or like my first three months of the year favorites because I haven't done a favorites at all this year. So it's kind of hefty, the list I have. I wanted to include everything because I genuinely love it. Let's just jump into this. This is my first time doing a monthly favorites and I learned in the 2016 favorites video that I'm kind of long-winded so for the purposes of this video and since I have quite a few things and because personally when I watch favorites videos I'm just kind of like okay we get it next one I'm gonna keep my reasons for liking things quite short I love these genuinely and if you have questions please ask in the comments if you have like a, a specific question about a product because I don't explain much about it then just leave it in the comments and I'll answer you there but I want to just kind of get through everything and yeah <laughs> also a quick disclaimer the products I mentioned in this video may not be brand new but they are new to me within the last month or two disclaimer there my first favorite is this enormous bag it's currently unzipped but this is not by any means the only design. There are a ton of designs of this bag. I got it at a local boutique, but I'm pretty sure that this is like more widely distributed. I love the inside. Is this gorgeous fabric. It has a really cute tassel on the end. It's just enormous, and I love this for makeup when you're traveling. You can fit everything in here, like assuming you're not going ham. And it's in one bag. And it's just a really nice bag. So yeah, it's just called papayaart.com, so I'll link it down below um, and leave information elsewhere. I really like this bag. And coincidentally, all my makeup favorites are in it. <laughs> my favorite foundation the past few months has been the Wet n Wild foundation. You can buy this at drugstore, buy it wherever Wet n Wild is sold, which is a, it's a drugstore brand. It's like $4, and I really love it because it's very lightweight. It has fantastic coverage and it's buildable. Uh, I'm wearing it today. It does smell like paint though, so it's one, one, one con. The NARS, the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is a new concealer that they've released. I love the fact that if you're familiar with the Radiant Creamy brand line, line, this has the same color range, it's just a different formula, and it's extremely high coverage, but it feels very lightweight. I apply it with my finger or a brush because you really, really, really do not need much at all. It's a little pot. I've been using this for two months now probably and it hardly has a dent in it, so. I have two primers. Let me find them. Uh, the first is the Hard Candy Sheer and Rehydrating Mist. This is also rather inexpensive. I think it's eight dollars. I did the, I used this in my first impressions drugstore haul. It smells amazing. It leaves the skin really tacky. Foundation sticks to it like glue. You, I've used all this makeup today, by the way. Any makeup I mention, except if there's like duplicates of like a lip product or an eye product or something, I've used them all. The Milk Makeup Blur Stick. So this really helps your foundation stick and this helps your foundation stay smooth. So I use this where I have pores or texture and I also like to use this if I'm just going out quickly and I don't have time to apply a full face but I look oily or I just kind of want, it literally blurs your skin. So it helps reduces the appearance of your pores without really putting anything on your face. This is no surprise, this one. The Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. I like put this in my tutorials um, just because I want you to see it because I love it that much. I don't really need to put it in there, but I'll be like, I'm using this now when I'm doing like an eye tutorial. <laughs> um, but this is just an amazing powder in my opinion. I'm shade one. I think there's like three or four shades. They're very uh, universal because it's very sheer. Oh, it's so soft and creamy. Like you can see it there. I don't know, like, you're not gonna be able to see it, it's a freaking powder, and it's sheer, but it just creates such a gorgeous luminosity. Uh, I'm a huge fan. I don't think I need to talk too much about that one. The Too Faced Love Light Prismatic Highlighters. I purchased two and I recently did a first impressions of them and I cannot put it down. I've only had it for like a week, granted, but I mean, I'm wearing it today and like, hmm, it makes me very happy. If you wanna know how I apply it, Check out my last video because I do not apply it as you normally would with a highlighter. 
on a roll, guys. On a roll. Uh, I have two eyeshadow palettes, the Pastel Goth and the NYX Ultimate. I put these two together because I do think they are comparable. However, they are not the same. If you need a, a, a less expensive option for a colorful palette, I think this is an amazing product. It's $15 by NYX Cosmetics, and the color range is gorgeous. I used a combination of colors from this palette and a combination of colors from this palette on my eyes today. So these guys both have some colors on my face right now, and they're gorgeous and creamy and pigmented, and they blend beautifully. I will say, um, I put this shade on top of NYX Cosmetics Milk today, the jumbo, the creamy jumbo eye pencil thing, and it was a little patchy, but I, I mean, you just kind of have to work around it. I think they're gorgeous colors, they're gorgeous for spring, you can't go wrong. The Stila Cosmetics, this name is so freaking long, Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. I have the shade Kit and Karma from just the regular launch, which I think is a gorgeous neutral, uh, nude, like, everyday shade. And I have, I also purchased the three duochrome summer colors that they released. These are the shades Into the Blue, Sunset Cove, and Sea Siren. I have Sea Siren on my lids today. Sea Siren just has more of a purple reflect, and Sunset Cove has a bit more of, like, a pinky orange reflect in it. Uh, my only qualm, of course, I've mentioned this before, for some reason, my Into the Blue has disastrously low product in it. Like, it's missing a lot of product. <laughs> and they said that's normal, I wrote them, and they said it was normal, so I'm kind of peeved on that, but what can you do? The Danessa Myricks Color Fix Cream Color in Galaxy. It says cream, but it dries down matte, it's just has a very creamy consistency as opposed to her matte color fix which are more liquidy. I will say that this, I use it as an eyeliner for the most part and it does, you have to be careful that it dries down completely with hooded eyes before you start blinking too much otherwise it can transfer but I have hooded eyes, I'm just used to that, that's life. <laughs> the reason I like this one is because it has the most subtle gold reflect in it. Like you, I can't even swatch it because you only see it in person, it's crazy but it just kind of adds an extra mmm to your liner, especially if you're doing like a bold wing or something like that. It just looks gorgeous. I love it. More eye product, I believe. No, two more eye products. Barbie Shops by Lit Cosmetics. So this is like my glitter that I have been using. I mean, I love all Lit Cosmetics glitters. They're all gorgeous, but I think this one for spring is really, really fun because it's a shimmer, which is a clear glitter, but it has rainbow reflex in it, and I have it on my inner corners right now. I'll insert a clip of a close-up of my eyes here. <laughs> it's just a gorgeous color, and I think it's really universal, and you can use it with so many different looks and colors as a pop of color on the inner eye, on the lid, on the lower lash, wherever. It's really, really pretty, and I have a discount code with lit. I'll put it on the screen somewhere if you want to use it. Say the 20% girl, 20%. I do not make commission on all my discount codes, but if you use my discount codes, that helps me a lot because I don't do this full time yet. I would love to do this full time and just create content for you guys, but I can't until I can make it something I can live off of, obviously. So if you use my discount code, I truly appreciate it and it really makes a difference in my career goals. One more eye product. This is new to me. I know it's not new to the people of the world. This is the Tarte Cosmetics Fake Awake Eyeliner. I just really like this because it's a very cream, nude pencil that you can put in your waterline and it doesn't fail. It works really well. Yeah. The only makeup products I have left are lip products. I have four different brands of lip products. I had a hard time choosing so I chose not to choose. They're all different formulas as well which is why I was okay choosing them because none of them are the same. The first I'll mention is the Bobbi Brown Art Stick Liquid Lip. I'm not sure why it's called a liquid lip because it's very creamy. These are my two favorite colors from their recent launch. The pinkish one here is Azalea and then this one is called Naked Pink. <clears throat> They're really cool. Sorry, it's really messy. I need to, I should probably clean that. Let me clean that. Creamy, high pigmented formula. I really love the tube they come in. It's very easy to clean. I just clean that guy off. And you just kind of squeeze it out and put it on your lips. It's very easy to apply. The colors are gorgeous. I just, I just think they're really easy to use. And it's a great formula. 
The other is the Makeup Forever 105. I know people have been mentioning these a lot. It's just a gorgeous nude. This color specifically is my favorite. It's like a 203 that's also really nice, but in their nude range, this is the more pinky one. And I have it on my lips right now, underneath my gloss, which I'll mention shortly. I just think this is a great liquid lip. It's a great formula, it's a gorgeous color, and I keep it in my purse almost always. Next is the new Makeup Geek Cream Stains. I'm really loving these. They're very lightweight. These are my three favorite colors from the recent launch. They're very lightweight and they're actually buildable coverage so you can get like a wash of color or a, with one coat and then with two coats you can get a very gorgeous highly pigmented lip. They're very easy to use, they dry down beautifully, they're not drying, they're just very comfortable. The shades I like are Arabesque, I don't usually not know how to pronounce things but um, comparatively they also have Moonwalk. So I like Arabesque because it's just a little bit more on the purple side, this one's a bit more on the pink side. And this is Moonwalk. And then Quick Step is uh, the nice taupey nude that I really really like. And I also like Mambo. And I just want to quickly mention, I'm pretty sure this is a decent dupe in terms of color shade for the new Manny MUA, I think it's called I'm Shook. Just throwing that out there. No shade, just saying. And then the last lip products are from Jouer. So these are a new purchase for me. I've only purchased eyeshadows from Jouer before, but I really love these. I got the Gloss Skinny Dip. It's on my lips now. It is amazing. It's hyped up for a reason because it's fantastic. And my one thing to say about this is it adds a really gorgeous sheen to your lips. I have it on right now. And it doesn't mess with whatever you're putting on top of. Because some glosses is a lip topper. It just goes on top of something. Or you can wear it alone. But it doesn't mess up the color that's underneath it. It just kind of augments it a little. And I really, really like it. And then the other two shades I have are part of their lip cream lines, which are basically liquid lipsticks that dry down matte. And I included these because these are metallic, and none of my other lip products are metallic, so I figured it was okay. But this is the shade Citron Rose. No, sorry. Citronade Rose. And the shade Guava. So, those are there. <laughs> So I also have three skincare related items. The first I'll mention is this Soap and Glory Body Milk. This is, I guess, the scent Smoothie Star. It's just very lightweight and it smells amazing. Or I guess the scent is almonds, oats, and brown sugar scent. <laughs> I'm very confused. The label's kind of confusing. I really like that you can get these now at Walgreens and I think Walmart. It's not... It, I, originally when I first heard of this, it was only in Sephora, my understanding. Maybe Ulta. So I like how accessible these are now, and I think this was only $12. Definitely worth it. It's a big, hefty jar, and I just have this next to my bed, and I use it after a shower or before bed if I feel like I need some moisture. So yeah. Next is this Fig and Yero Apothecary Foaming Cream Cleanser, Palm Rosa and Charcoal. A naturally antibacterial, sulfate-free, detoxifying cleanser for a non-drying, deep clean while contributing to cell regeneration, oil reduction, moisture retention, and elimination of acne-causing factors. So you guys know that I've had trouble with my skin lately. I got this at Target. It's a really great price. This tiny bottle lasted me about a month and a half, maybe two months of twice a day cleansing. And I remember the first time I used it, I actually felt like I felt it cleaning my skin. It was like different from any other cleanser I had been using at the time. And so it was just like, whoa, as you can see, I've used it all. I have to repurchase because this was, I looked at it this morning. I'm like, oh, okay. So I need to get another bottle of it, but highly recommend this guy. And it's inexpensive and it's a little glass bottle. It's really cute. <laughs> Another thing that I've recently started using that I've added to my skincare routine is the Shea Moisture Youth Infusing Eye Cream with Mineral Light Reflectors. It's just this little guy. I've been using it for about three weeks to a month probably. Probably like a month I've been using this guy. And I just love the way it feels on my skin. So just a little information on how I do skincare. It, my moisturizer is extremely lightweight. It's just what I prefer. And I can layer it in air, areas that I feel like need more, more, more moisture. And I also have a moisture balm that I use for really dry areas like around my nose and my forehead and right here in my um, wrinkle lines there. <laughs> 
but for my eye cream this is a definitely a heavier it is a cream it's heavier but it's still it's very it almost cools it when I put it on it has like a cooling sensation and the mineral light reflectors I do actually think that's in there because I have dark circles under my eyes and when I apply this it definitely brightens up that area even just on the first application so I just really really like this and I like that it says youth infusing. It really moisturizes the under eyes. And I think my face and my eye area has overall just looked very smooth and awake lately. Now we're going to move on to like the non-makeup slash skincare slash exclusively beauty related products. I have some accessories in here. I have some home goods, I guess. Not really home goods, but like just stuff that I've really been loving lately. Glasses. So you guys uh, know that I wear glasses. And I recently purchased a new pair. I got a kind of rosy clear pair. And I'm loving these for a few reasons. I love that they're clear because when I'm wearing makeup, I feel more empowered to wear makeup with my glasses because it doesn't hide anything. You can still see exactly what's going on. And they're very comfortable. They fit right. This is called Louise. And it's by Warby Parker. So I've been purchasing glasses from Warby Parker for... This is my fourth pair, I think third or fourth pair of glasses from Warby Parker. They're a really great and expensive glasses option. They only cost $95. You don't have to have insurance. That's with the prescription. They have some that are more, but this one was only $95. Every time you buy a pair of glasses from them, they give one to a person in need. So it's kind of like Tom's, the glasses version of Tom's. <laughs> and I got sunglasses and I got the Desi Key, Desi Times Key, Key, Desi Collaboration High. What are these ones called? I think these are called high key. Yeah. <laughs> high key sunglasses. This is the blue one. And I love them. I have a huge head and they fit me perfect. They, they still look really good on my face. Um, they don't look as enormous as they do on smaller people's faces, but they still flatter very nicely. And I love the fact that they're flat aviators. I just like them a lot. <laughs> so they're a favorite. I, I, I got on that bandwagon. No shame. I love them. Another accessory. I've been loving these necklaces. So I wear this one all the time. It says Wanderlust. And I put this choker on when I feel like it. It's a really nice uh, rose velvet choker. It's very comfortable. And this is by Shop Dixie. I believe they're based in the UK, I think. It's just a really high quality uh, necklace that I recommend. I like it. They were sent to me. But I've been wearing it nonstop because I think it's so cute. And I'm really not one to wear jewelry that much. The fact that I'm wearing this like all the time says something. <laughs> Next on my list. So this wig I'm wearing though. <laughs> so it's like really long. Like it, it's a long guy. Uh, you can't see it because obviously I'm not showing you my boobies. But it's from Powder Room D. I just really love Powder Room D wigs in general. I think they're a very fair price for the high quality that you get and the color ranges they have. I do have a discount code that saves you 10%, I think. And that's a pretty good amount because these wigs generally run for $150, which is not cheap, but they're long-lasting, high-quality wigs. And I will say, I love this one because of the color, but also because I believe this wig cap is actually bigger than the ones they've had in the past, and I have a huge head. This is a common theme, I have a huge head, and this fits me like a glove, and I'm just kind of like, finally! It fits me right, and I love having wigs because A, when you have colorful hair like I do, my roots grow out, my roots are pretty gnarly right now, and I can hide them. <laughs> and also, colors like green or, um, like, a, like colors that I wouldn't be comfortable having like on my head all the time that aren't my favorite colors in general. I love having them as wigs because I can still spice it up if I want to. And I think once you color your hair you just kind of get this bug to have all the colors. And wigs are a really great alternative to just completely destroying your hair. So I have two things that I don't actually have something I can show you. I'll put stuff on the screen instead. First thing are socks. My mama has been sending me these ma- <coughs> Oh, oh, why? My mom has been sending me. <clears throat> nope. Mm -mm. My mom has been sending me <laughs> some really amazing socks. She sent me them first as just kind of like a whim for fun, and then I like love them. So she sent me more. They're from Stance, which I never heard of before. 
but they have, they're so comfortable, I'm wearing them right now. <laughs> they have ankle socks, they have invisible socks, they have crew socks, they have knee socks, they have all these different socks, they have different weights of socks, but the fabric is just such high quality, it's insane. And not only is it an amazing quality sock with really cute patterns, I'll like show my favorite one right here because I do have a favorite, especially for summer. But not only do they have like amazing quality fabric, but the the socks themselves are actually fitted, if that makes sense. They are shaped and sewn in such a way that they don't fall down, they don't fall off because they're sewn just right. They don't move on your feet. They're not just like a piece of fabric that's a tube. So they are more expensive, but I'm like obsessed with them and I can't stop wearing them. They're pretty much all I wear. I'll just wash my socks constantly so I can just wear them. <laughs> I know it's like a silly thing, but you know, socks, come on. <laughs> and the second thing that I do not have on me right now because we've used them all is a, a bath bomb company that I found. Don't recall what it's called. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. So it's a woman who has an Etsy shop as well, but she uses Amazon to distribute. It's Amazon Prime eligible, which was like A++ for me. But I purchased a gift box set that comes with 12 different bath bombs, and they're like the perfect size. Like Lush bath bombs are rather large, and I feel bad if I use one in one bath because they were expensive and big, and you don't need all that in a bath. And these are like, like this big smell amazing you want colorful water they do that it comes in a set of 12 and I believe the box is like $26 for 12 bath bombs that are all different scents all smell really good and some of them have like rose petals in them and stuff like that they're they're really cute looking bath bombs too they're not boring by any means and they're all labeled with their scents on them they're individually wrapped so they don't crumble they came all in one piece and Christian also loves to use them so that's why we're out of them already and I actually ordered a new box I just don't have it yet yeah I just really recommend it it breaks down to like two dollars and like 25 cents per bath bomb which is in my opinion a great deal and it's a small businesswoman who I'm happy to support two more things we're almost done guys we're we're in the final final sprint <sighs> I'm gonna like need to sit down and like really relax after this. But the last things that I have are first our oil diffuser. So I recently purchased this probably like two or three weeks ago. And this is another thing that my husband Christian is just all about that life. He's all about bath bombs and he's all about oil diffusing. And I got three scents from my local vitamin cottage. I got a mental floss blend, I got a romance blend, and I got a sleeping blend. And the oil diffuser has a nice timer on it. It's just really great. I put it on when I'm working with the mental floss situation and at night Christian puts on the sleeping situation. He really likes it because of the white noise. I really like it because of the aromatherapy so we kind of... even. I think he likes the smell too but he says it's just because it makes a nice noise. <laughs> um, it's just really nice. I like it a lot. I finally hopped on that bandwagon as well. <laughs> I wanted to do a quick segment in my favorite videos on my favorite artists, the ones that I've been loving this month. Jay Kissa does this and I just think it's so amazing to just share love and support for fellow artists. So I'm going to start doing it. So thank you Jay Kissa for the inspiration to do this. The first one I want to mention is, I can't say her name, but her name is Petra. I just love the texture of her looks. She always has amazing chunky glitters or pearls or rhinestones just so many different things and it's just so appealing to me on so many different levels her style is just so fresh and unique I've really been loving having it on my feet the second is Wesley Benjamin Carter I just think all of his photos are so elegant and clean they're just it's always a treat to look at he just has a very nice face as well in addition to his makeup skills. And then lastly is Rebel Beauty X. I remember Norvina shared her one time and she just kind of said that her work is visceral, which I think is the perfect word to describe her because when you see her work, it just exudes feeling. Ashley's really changed up her game as well because she's just all about shine and shimmer and like capturing reflect right now and I just love it. It just makes me happy. <laughs> so yeah just makes me feel some type of way, okay? So if you want people to follow, you're looking for artists or social media influencers, whatever it may be, these guys are awesome and I'm loving them this month. That wraps up this March favorites video. 
I know it was hefty and I had a lot of stuff in it. I hope that's okay. Consider it like making up for the fact that I haven't done one the last two months, so I had a few. If you guys have questions about any products, just leave it in the comments below. I'll link my favorites video at the end of this video that I did for 2016. I enjoy chatting with you guys like this. I know I really, I, I talk really fast when I'm excited about stuff and that's just how I am. I just talk fast. I don't know if it's ever anything I'm going to be able to fix. So <laughs> I'll try. If you want me to talk slower, let me know. But I genuinely love these products, these things that I've been using lately. And if you guys have tried any of these or if you're loving any of these things, comment down below and let me know what your favorites are right now, whether it's cosmetics or something that you have around the house to make it better, candles, I don't know, if you have a special scent that you like, comment down below. I put out new videos every Sunday and Wednesday at some point during those days. If you guys want to keep up to date, I recommend that you subscribe, for one, <laughs> if you're not already, and you should put on the notification bell because that lets you know exactly when I upload stuff. And yeah, I'm really enjoying my new video making schedule. I think I'm going to have it with Sundays being more of a chatty video and then Wednesdays being a tutorial of some sort. So let me know if that sounds like a good kind of outline. And I always appreciate your feedback and your love and your comments. And I will see you on Wednesday. Maybe I should say I'll see you on the next one because if you're not watching this on Sunday or if you're watching this on, on Wednesday, I'll, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye, guys.